somewhat muted response from at least the analyst community to what you presented yesterday. Uh, a long road for improved returns. Patience required. Um, are you happy with sort of the response that you've gotten? Is that the message you wanted to send, that this is going to take time? Yes, I, I'm, I'm very positive about the response we got. Uh, what we wanted to do yesterday was provide clarity uh, to our investors, to the street, about the vision we have for City, the strategy uh, and our, our execution plan. Uh, and I think yesterday was successful in, in, in achieving that. We've been hard at work for a year, so it's a culmination of the work of a year and be able to provide that simply, straightforwardly, um, and we will now focus on executing. Well, executing is obviously going to be the key. But, you know, uh, there are those who say uh, three to five years to get to an 11 to 12 percent ROTCE is longer than we might have thought. What do you say to those who question whether the timeline perhaps is going to be a bit too long and try the patience of some of your investors? Yeah, I, I, I have certainly had big years listening to our investors. And so we, we, we've taken a, a big step back when we set the vision, we set the strategy for the firm to be a longer term vision and strategy um, and plan. We've taken a number of bold moves already uh, in terms of the divestures of uh, a number of our uh, historically iconic franchises to really focus City around our core strengths. Um, we've taken strategic bets in businesses that we've got a high confidence and excitement about around growth. But this is an organic growth strategy. It will take time. And I want to be completely transparent and realistic around what it's going to take. Um, and it is going to take a few years for us to achieve the medium term targets. I absolutely aspire for higher returns uh, and uh, I'm confident we'll get that in the longer run. But right now I'm focused on the job in hand. Yeah, and I want to talk a bit more about that. But to that idea of at least meeting those targets, you know, I'm reading a note here from Goldman Sachs. Um, one of the key questions, you got this yesterday as well during uh, the presentation's Q&A, oh, you know, the execution of the plan, will it be different than four years ago when, or five years ago, when um, City largely missed most of the original targets set out at a 2017 investor day? You know, again, this idea of why should we believe City now when the company did not deliver on its previous targets? Yeah. We, we have a very, very credible plan. Uh, it's one that's grounded in a, a simpler city, and you can see that. We're focused on five core businesses. Our vision goes back to our core competitive strengths and capabilities, which is being you know, a, uh, a focus around clients with global needs and being their, um, their trusted partner. We are the preeminent global bank in that respect. So I, I strongly believe in simplicity and focus. Um, and so that is, that is the bank today. It is a simpler bank. It is a more focused one. Um, it's much, going to be much better connected. And in addition to that, what we've then looked at is, as I said yesterday to our investors, we took a step back and we looked at what are the different issues that have held us back, and we are addressing them full on. Yeah, you were somewhat unsparing in your criticism. Uh, I mean, I think, uh, quoting you, somewhat disadvantaged business mix. Uh, we avoided making some hard decisions. We did not invest enough. How was that received amongst many of the people here who perhaps were here years ago during the course of, of course, some of these mistakes being made? I think the important piece is that we laid out the vision for what we are going to be, um, and it's a realistic one that takes into account what are some of the elements of culture or our operating model, investments uh, that we, uh, we haven't made enough of, and it laid out the vision of what, what the future is going to be, because I think that's the most important piece, is acknowledging what's held us back, but what are we doing about them, and then where, where are we headed to?